There are stories that don't start when you are born, but when you decide who you want to become. Our story begins in Portillo de Toledo, against the backdrop of a great race, where our protagonist, Fructuoso Lopez, knew his goal from a very young age, to be the master of his own destiny. When he was eight, he became a cobbler's apprentice. He had a clear objective, and he had everything he needed to achieve it. Youth, hope, and time. At 21, he had to slow down a little, not because of injury, but because he was called up for military service. But he continued working. When he finished his military service, he went to work for Calzados Marcos. It was there that he had the idea to make football boots at home. Fructuoso's personal gamble was what kick-started his solo part of the race. In 1965, Joma was born, at first trading under the name Fructuoso Lopez S.A. It was there, in what was his parents' house, that he had his first member of staff, Joselito. With his first child, Jose Manuel, the name of the company changed to Joma. The company was registered as Joma Sport S.A. in 1969 in Fuensalida. In premises of 500 meters squared, the first manual production line was set up with 20 members of staff, many of them family. They began to work tirelessly on the production line, although soon discovered that the key to winning this race was in learning how to sell. That is why in 1973, the company registered its first logo, and in 1975, created its first billboard advertisement, a real extravagance. It was the 1980s when the company began to publicize its products. Joma was a brand that invested in researching and developing new technologies. And it was important to tell customers about that. In the same year, the company opened a second factory in 2,000 meter squared premises with two new semi-automatic production lines and 17 employees. There were more and more people running the race alongside Fructuoso. In 1983, the company went to its first ISPO in Munich, the most difficult market to break into, and where Joma had never managed to sell a single sports shoe before. It was there that they discovered that to be among the winners of this race, international markets were the key. This demanded a change of mentality. This change allowed the company to invest in R&D and be the first to use nylon in sports shoes. to manufacture waterproof sports shoes and launch a line of footwear with a support system that reduced knee injuries and joint pain for sportsmen and women. Because creating products for sportsmen and women is always what has driven the company. That is why in 1987 the company signed its first sponsorship contract with Martin Bathgeff. There would later be other contracts with Emilio Butragueño, Chiqui Bergistein, Luis González, and more. In 1992, the Olympic Games were held in Barcelona. Gold from Alfonso and Fermín Cacho inspired Joma with Olympic dreams and put the company on the podium. And the history of Joma changed again. The company launched a textile range. In 1995, Emilio Butragueño, sponsored by Joma, left for Mexico and the partnership of sportsman and sponsor discovered a country that would give them both great success. It wasn't easy, but the confidence that Fructuoso put in one of the workshops meant they had a head start. A year later, Joma revolutionized the sportswear market by manufacturing the first colored football boots. It was an unusual move, but Joma had an ace up its sleeve, Alfonso Pere. When he ran out onto the pitch, all anybody could talk about were his football boots and not in entirely flattering terms. They ultimately became one of Joma's great successes. Later came Morientes Red Boots. Joma is the number one in the world for football boots. The game began to reach an international audience. Joma takes the world by storm. After the launch of the affiliated company in Germany in 92, the company launches in the USA, in China, in Italy, the UK, Panama, and Brazil. Many sportsmen and women want to join the pack. The brand dominates the Spanish football kit market with a more than 50% market share. 
Joma makes its mark on the Olympics, dressing the 700 members of the Spanish Olympic Committee and another seven Olympic committees. This race looks like it will never end. Luckily, Fructuoso has never been alone. His family, all the staff at Joma, and the sportsmen and women it sponsors, they are all there to continue dreaming of new challenges. Fifty years after those first sports shoes that Joma made with a Singer sewing machine, Joma is no longer just Fructuoso Lopez. It now has its own personality, even though it has very similar values. Courage. Dedication. Commitment. Competitiveness. Humility. Tenacity. Freedom. Self-improvement. Happiness. Now with 65,000 meter squared premises, 200 employees, an intelligent design storeroom capable of managing 30,000 units per hour and millions of products sold per year. Joma is working on its next challenge, to become leaders in design, innovation, and technology. But to go back to the beginning, isn't it incredible to see how a child's dreams can turn into something so great.